Hi, I'm Lisa Miller, Traveler Information Manager in the Traffic Management Division, and this is Talking Orange. The UDOT Traffic Operations Center has statewide coverage, border to border, uh, and we have a lot of traffic cameras, traffic signals, uh, variable message signs over the freeway, and our main goal is to keep Utah moving. The Traffic Operations Center is staffed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. The TOC has over a thousand traffic cameras and we have border-to-border -border coverage. We have a variety of functions that are happening here uh, from, this, uh, from this room. We're also co-located with our Highway Patrol partners, the 911 call center, and uh, we interact regularly with them and we work together to manage all types of traffic incidents. All of the equipment that we have communicates to the TOC on fiber optic cable. So it doesn't matter if we have a camera in St. George or in Murray, we get lightning fast communication back to the TOC. We like to joke that traffic management is like garbage collection. Nobody really cares about it until it's not done effectively. So even though we're behind the scenes a lot of the time, it's a really big job and it's a very important job. We have day-to-day -day traffic management functions, but we're also really busy during large special events like football games, stadium of fire, any kind of road race like a marathon or an Ironman, and um, it takes a really coordinated team to make sure everything happens smoothly. So UDOT puts traffic signal plans into place long before the event even happens, which is great. We have those as resources that we can call on whenever we need to for a special event at a specific venue. So there's um, a, a very delicate balance of staff involved. We have traffic signal staff, either at the traffic operations center or in the field. We have traveler information components on our variable message signs through our social media accounts and in the UDOT traffic app and website. And all of that goes into making sure that people can get to and from the event in a timely manner and, of course, get there safely. The University of Utah does have a command post for football games and other large special events at Rice Eccles Stadium, and UDOT has a representative in that command post to make sure that things go smoothly during the game. So essentially, we work with law enforcement personnel. They ask us a specific time to put that ped scramble into place, and it allows a maximum amount of people from the tailgate lot to the stadium in a very efficient period of time. If the score is very close at the end of the game, we anticipate that everybody's going to be leaving the stadium or the event around the same time, which makes our job really critical, and the timing is very important. So especially for the University of Utah, for example, we call the traffic signal plan a flush plan and have 240 seconds of green time on Foothill Boulevard leaving the stadium. And 240 seconds might not sound like a lot, but when you see it in action, it really moves traffic very effectively and has people leaving the stadium very quickly. So for the University of Utah alone, we estimate that UDOT's involvement can save up to 40 minutes of outbound time per game at a savings of $2.5 million. We have events that happen all over the state. And we've talked about um, football games at Rice Cycle Stadium, but we've got also games at, at Utah State and Weber State and of course down at, at Brigham Young University that we also help to manage. Over time we've really improved the quality of our timing plans and how we get people to and from Lavelle Edwards Stadium. And um, we work closely with Orem City and with Provo City um, to make that happen. In fact, a lot of times we're in the background operating behind the scenes and, and they, they take the lead in, in, in executing those plans. It's a great partnership that works really well and uh, we've gotten a lot of good feedback from uh, from people that have attended the games, but also from politicians and mayors and, and uh, law enforcement. So we're very happy with, with the way um, our signal operation, our traffic operation goes um, associated with events down in Utah County. Well, it also doesn't look that bad. David, up to follow up. So as Carlos would say, thank you for everything that you do. Be safe out there, buckle up, put your cell phones away, and it's you that keeps Utah moving.
player's turn one. Is it like the one-sided game? Yeah, it's 45-6. Yeah. <laughs>